know, I don't know how I'll feel when I see him. You know, I, I can definitely get emotional. It was uh, May 12, 2012. Um, we were coming back from a patrol. Uh, Staff Sergeant Myers, he was the uh, squad leader on the patrol. We were walking back to the combat outpost. On our way back, there was a little creek we had to jump across. And I remember I was standing there watching my guys get across the creek, and everything went brown. Just really random when Eric stepped on IED. It was so close to me, it was so loud that it just, I just kind of like had it ringing in my ears for hours. But when I ran up on him, I, I immediately realized it was uh, Eric. So, I mean, I was basically running with two tourniquets in my hand the second I got up to him. And I kind of looked down to the situation, and then that's when my medic, Stephen Rooker, showed up and said, I stopped the bleeding. I think I stopped the bleeding. Like, you're going to live. You're going to go see your wife and kid. How do you really describe somebody who saved your husband's life? He's very humble. Um, it's almost as if he doesn't realize the magnitude of what he's done. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. And there's just nobody that can replace right. him. To me, to my family, absolutely no one. From the second he got injured, I immediately knew his life was taking a turn. We can go cook him if you want. <laughs> the smart home has given Eric complete independence. Building for America's Bravest, they are one of the few true organizations out there that care about the service member and the first responders. They started helping them building these smart homes for us, and it's a, it's a game changer, man. This house is a game changer. Life goes on, and I don't have to worry, because he can do it in this house. I got lucky. I've got a veteran who was more than willing to kind of flip things around and go the positive route, and he's a really involved parent. He's a really great dad. He's just a natural at it. And it's just right now, the three of us, soon to be four of us. Can't wait, man. A little boy, too. Woo! You can't change the past, but there's always a way forward. My goal now is to help people see that. So I work with a nonprofit that we manage 300 acres, and we take the service members out and enjoy things they either like to do before they got injured or learn to love new things. That's why I really get involved with guys in similar situations that I am in. Treating Eric, that was a pivotal moment to where I kind of like changed the direction of my life. And now he's going to be a doctor. I got into my top choice medical school. I see smart, you know, he's that weird <laughs> smart. I see Eric, and I'm happy. He's living a good life. If anything, I need to get to his level of happiness. I didn't think I'd ever see him again. That's not amazing. But this was an awesome, awesome day today.